and a warm welcome to the Holiday and Cruise Channel's Guide to Luxury Cruising. I'm Polly Winder and with more and more of us taking a cruise holiday, it's no surprise that some of us are looking for the next step up, perhaps five or even six star cruising experiences. But what's so special about luxury cruising? Well, think once in a lifetime shore excursions, private in-suite dinners, champagne and caviar at exclusive beach parties, butlers to make spa bookings, innovative menus dreamed up by celebrity chefs, lavish accommodations featuring whirlpools, expansive balconies and multiple levels. Does that sound nice? Well, nowadays, as travellers become ever more sophisticated and cruise lines clamour for even more points of difference, the upscale envelope has been pushed. Fantasy, thrills of a lifetime, upper-crusted adventures and red carpet treatment await today's cruise-goers. Lines like Silver Sea and Cunard are building new ships and tailoring them to modern views of luxury, like multiple dining venues, expansive spas, larger suites with more balconies. While lines like Regent Seventh Seas and Windstar are investing in upscale upgrades through improved menus, bedding and public spaces. Plus, luxury lines are increasingly creative with exclusive boutique excursions, like riding an MIG fighter jet at twice the speed of sound, and enrichment programs that give you a glimpse into the minds of scientists, actors, writers and political figures, among others. All luxury cruise lines will treat you like a VIP, but which one is right for you? Do you crave enormous suites with butler service, or would you give up lavish accommodations for personal attention and unusual itineraries? Do you want an intimate onboard experience or a larger ship with more bells and whistles? Does luxury mean going a week without a tie or dressing up every evening and dancing the night away? Whether you're searching for a once in a lifetime splurge or simply trying to find the cruise line that best suits your personality, here are the creme de la creme of cruise ships, some of their latest luxury services and why they're superb sailings. So, where to go on your luxury cruise? Well, later in the programme, we'll take a look at where the most luxury cruises go across the world. But in the meantime, just to tempt you, true luxury ships don't follow set schedules but offer worldwide itineraries with the emphasis on the offbeat. Crystal Harmony, for example, has a new cruise of Japan and China among her itineraries this year, while Seaborn Pride has cruises of the Chilean fjords in her lineup. Who goes on a luxury cruise? Such ships are aimed at people who seek not only interesting travel itineraries, but also a genuine insight into the places that they're visiting and the broader world around them. Expert lectures in the field of history, geography, archaeology and other disciplines are regularly invited on board to give guests talks and teach them about walks ashore. And some of the world's greatest stars and performing artists have been spotted on cruise cruise ships, either talking about their craft or simply enjoying a few days away from the pressures of stardom. Indeed, it seems that nowadays you're more likely to rub shoulders with the famous on a cruise ship than in a trendy nightclub or expensive restaurant. For example, the relaxed combination of a casual sporty atmosphere and top quality services attracted rock icon David Bowie to the five-star rated sailing ships of Windstar Cruises a few years ago. No doubt Bowie was impressed by the music systems installed in every cabin, with speakers aimed inwards towards the bed, so you just hear your own music, no one else's. Cunard's five-star liner, the QE2, is the greatest star grabber of them all. Nelson Mandela and Elizabeth Taylor have both been on board. Seaborn is not only the surprising choice of computer billionaire Bill Gates and Donald Trump. Silver Seat, meanwhile, has played host to the likes of Charlton Heston and Richard Dreyfus. Best of the rest. If your budget doesn't quite match Bill Gates and you can't run to a truly top-of-the-range ship or you feel a small luxury vessel would simply be too confining, try booking a top cabin on one of the big ships. So if you've cruised before and you're ready to take the next voyage but perhaps want to experience five and six star treatment, let's take a closer look at some of the popular cruise companies who offer a luxury experience. 
Crystal Cruises offer not five, but six star luxury and is a winner of many accolades and some of the travel industry's most distinguished and coveted awards since its inception in 1990. Crystal Cruises has been the benchmark of upscale ultra luxury cruising for many years by providing guests with unparalleled levels of service, space, choices and quality. Service begins with one of the industry's highest guest to staff ratios in the industry. Crystal Cruises has two ships in its fleet, the Crystal Symphony and the Crystal Serenity, which are larger in comparison to its ultra-luxury cruise piers, carrying 940 and 1,080 passengers respectively, offering one of the highest space to passenger ratios in the industry. Each ship dedicates considerable space to innovative spa and learning facilities, exciting entertainment options, creating dining options, spacious decks, generous amenities and sumptuous staterooms and suites. Onboard Crystal Cruises, guests can expect quality throughout with superb furnishings and amenities. Gourmet cuisine is served in a number of elegant venues with menus designed by celebrity restaurateurs such as Nobu Matsushia and Piergo Salvaggio. Complimentary non-alcoholic beverages are served throughout. Innovative shore excursions and customised private off-ship adventures are also similarly indicative of Crystal Cruise's dedication to its guests' overall experience. Children are catered for too, with dedicated facilities which is unusual on ultra-luxury ships and imaginative activities created specifically to suit the ages and number of children on these selected itineraries. Regent Seven Seas Cruises has three ships the Seven Seas, Voyager, Mariner and Navigator. Two of these are all suites, all balcony. Seven Seas Navigator is all suites, all outside cabins. The smallest Regent suites measure 301 square feet and accommodations just increase in spaciousness from there. Their wide variety of land option give passengers the ultimate in flexibility. A travel concierge is available by a free phone number to help passengers design their own experiences in ports of call. They can rent vintage sport cars in Tuscany or dine by candlelight in the cisterns of Istanbul. Regent Choice excursions offer exclusive experiences such as market tours and cooking classes in Bali or tours of wildlife reserves in Argentina to small groups. Executive collection tours arrange for private cars and English-speaking drivers for a day offshore. The line also has several enrichment series, including the featured Luminaires programme, which brings onboard speakers like Jean-Michel Costeau and Rita Morio, food and wine spirit programmes that focus on special interests, such as Le Cordon Bleu workshops at sea, and spotlight on chocolate cruises, and discovery and exploration programmes that invite regional experts and personalities from PBS on board for lectures. All ships have compass rows, the main open seating dining room and the Prime 7 Steakhouse, which serves steaks and seafood. On Mariner and Voyager, Signatures is a formal French restaurant inspired by Le Cordon Bleu. La Veranda, the line's buffet venue, is one of the best at sea. All meals are open seating. Regent Seven Sea Cruises are famous for including nearly all shore excursions in the cruise price, a move that shocked the industry when it was announced. It also includes all beverages, meals in alternate restaurants, tips, government taxes and fees, and in many cases round-trip airfares, including free business classes air for the penthouse and higher category passengers in Europe. That makes it possibly the most inclusive cruise line around. In certain penthouse categories, passengers receive free pressing on the first night of embarkation. Elms toiletries, iPod MP3 players with Bose speakers and butler service. On all ships, cabins are supplied with spirits, down duvets, Egyptian cotton linens, flat screen televisions, DVD players and Wi-Fi access. Regent Seven Seas cruise ships are known for spacious, elegantly appointed suites and outstanding service and dining. The company boasts some of the industry's highest space per guest and staff per guest ratio. 
Its standard cabins, all of which are called suites, are among the most spacious in the industry. Each ship in the fleet features an internet centre as well as a Canyon Ranch Spa Club. Alcoholic beverages and all in-suite bar setup and gratuities are included in the cabin fare. Setting the tone for a relaxed cruise experience is Regent Seven Seas Cruises all open seating dining policy in its onboard restaurants. Each ship has the usual main restaurant through names and themes vary and that operates on a high level that incorporates luxury atmosphere with cuisine. All offer their own interpretations of alternative restaurants from classic American steakhouse to French haute cuisine. House wines and other liquor based drinks are poured on a complimentary basis throughout the ship and non-alcoholic beverages cold and hot are always complimentary. Popular features spread across the fleet include a gratuity included in the fare policy, butler service in uppermost category suites and sophisticated entertainment and lecture programmes. Azamara Club Cruises are another luxury option. Their approach, smaller vessels with personalised service and an atmosphere more like an actual ship than a palatial resort, is becoming an endangered species nowadays. Their ships offer a superb blend of big ship features such as multiple dining venues, casino and quite a comprehensive spa and fitness facility in a size that contributes to a cosier, more social cruise experience. Cruise fares with Azamara include house pours of wine with lunch and dinner, speciality coffees, bottled water and soft drinks, basic gratuity self-service laundry and coach shuttles in some ports. Another option when it comes to luxury cruising is Silver Sea, who are known for their one-to-one crew-to-guest ratio and for offering small ship intimacy with large ship amenities. Service is amazing. The line's personalised voyages programme allows passengers to embark and disembark from the cruise at their convenience for days at a time, allowing ultimate flexibility. The restaurant is the fleet's main dining venue, while La Terraza offers buffet options and alfresco dining. All restaurants are open seating and all wine and spirits, plus a stocked in-suite beverage cabinet, are included. So you can enjoy cocktails from Appletinis to Zombinis, alternative restaurants vary by ship, all ships feature Le Champagne, a restaurant touting wine-paired menus and dishes by Lurelet and Chateau. Silver Spirit has additional venues, including Stars Supper Club for light bites and dancing, and Sechine for Kobe beef, sushi and Asian seafood specialities. Famous for the Silver Sea Experience, a complimentary shoreside event found on 10% of sailings. It might include dinner under the stars in the named desert or afternoon tea at Barcelona's Picasso Museum, open exclusively to Silver Sea passengers. State of staterooms. All staterooms are suites. 80% have verandas, 95% on Silver Spirit, though the Vista Suites don't. The largest are the Owner's Grand and Royal Suites, all of which can be combined with an adjoining Vista Suite. All suites come with butler service. There are lectures on virtually all cruises, offering insights into the lives and cultures of the people of the destinations visited. There is also invariably a bridge instructor on each sailing and very often a golf pro who offers lessons at the practice nets on each ship. But partly as a function of size and relatively low passenger capacity, there are fewer major educational opportunities on Silver Sea vessels. Each has a well-stocked library, a fine Steiner-managed spa and fitness centre. Meals are served in open seating in the main dining room, with lunch available between 12.30 and 2 and dinner anytime between 7.30 and 9.30. Alternative evening dining is available in La Teresa at 7.45 and reservations are required there. And in the small upscale, even by Silver Sea standards, Le Champagne, again by reservation only between 7.30 and 9. La Teresa is free to eat in. Le Champagne, there is a small charge depending on the dining option you choose. 
Another luxury cruise line to consider is Oceana Cruises, whose decor is traditional luxe, with their exquisite polished dark mahoganies, muted fabrics and rich coloured carpets. By the virtue of the ship's sizes, it's not difficult to find yourself orientated by the first day at sea. Even the much larger marina is a cinch to navigate, though you can expect a more colourful, modernistic palette. It's no surprise that these ships bear Renaissance's visionary of a high ratio of standard balcony cabins. Service is enthusiastic as well as gracious courtesy of well-trained staff. The dress code is country club casual, intended to partner perfectly with the lines whatever you want, whenever you want mindset. There are four restaurants, each aboard the Regatta and Nautica. In addition to the traditional main dining room scenario, albeit with no set tables or seat times, there are three speciality restaurants which do not include additional charges. Menus that were crafted by Pepin, who serves the line's executive culinary director. Pepin is James Beard Foundation trustee, well-known author and wants personal chef to three French heads of state, including de Gaulle. Marina features two additional restaurants, Red Ginger and Asian Fusion Eatery, focusing on dishes reflecting Thai, Vietnamese, Malaysian and other origins. And the other dining spot? Pepin's widely lauded eponymous restaurant with a focus on French fare. The spas offer premium service at rather reasonable prices and the speciality whirlpool on the three smaller ships is complementary with the purchase of a spa treatment. The fitness centre offers pilates and yoga along with the usual aerobic classes. Casinos are small but there are plenty of slot machines and numerous bars and lounges and an elaborate afternoon tea is served daily. Now, Seabourne is at the top of the luxury cruise game with intuitive service, superb cuisine, relatively inclusive extras. There are no charge for cocktails, coffees or fitness classes and an atmosphere that is elegant but unpretentious. All cabins are suites and they're well equipped with designer soaps and all the latest and greatest amenities with flat screen televisions, Bose wave sound systems and so on. A complimentary bottle of champagne greets you in your cabin. Bar drinks are complimentary and refilled promptly. With an abundance of public space and few fellow passengers, you may feel you have the vessel to yourself. No annoying crowds or queues here. So now maybe you have an idea of what line suits you, but now shall we look at where you might like to go on your luxury cruise? Perhaps you'd prefer the beaches of the Caribbean or to see the Med. Whatever takes your fancy, there is a cruise for you. Crystal Cruises offer voyages to nearly all seven continents. Mainstays include Europe, Asia, the Middle East, North Americas, Canada, New England region, the Caribbean, Panama Canal, South America and Alaska and British Columbia. Oceana's regatta, nautica and marina ply the waters of Europe, Eastern and Western Mediterranean, Western Europe and the British Isles, and Northern Europe's Baltic and Norwegian fjords during warmer weather months. During the winter, they span the globe with sailings to the Caribbean, Panama Canal, South America, Asia and Australia. Regent Seven Seas Cruises offer globe-spanning routes touching some 300 ports. Seven Seas Voyager sails the Mediterranean, Baltic, Caribbean and Panama Canal voyages as well as longer grand voyages. Seven Seas Navigator's itineraries include the Caribbean and Canada, New England and Alaska. Seven Seas Mariner visits the Mediterranean, Caribbean, Pacific, South America and Panama Canal and Costa Rica. Where doesn't Seabourn go? With six ships in its fleet, the line calls in on all and every continent but the Antarctica. Its 208 passenger trio of ships, Spirit, Pride and Legend tend to ply more offbeat waters and ports, while its newer, swankier 450 passenger triplets, Odyssey, Sojourn and Quest offer a combination of marquee stops and offbeat ports. Silver Seas five ships blanket the world. They're in Asia, the Caribbean, South America, the Panama Canal, the Mediterranean, the North Cape, Africa, and just about every other place ever visited by a cruise ship, with the exception of the South Pacific. With the introduction of the Prince Albert in 2008, Silver Sea has added the Antarctic and the Arctic to its inventory. And with Azamara Quest and Journey, they ply the waters of Europe, Eastern and Western Mediterranean 
and northern Europe's Baltic and Norwegian fjords during warm weather months. During the autumn and winter, the ships wander the globe, sailing to the Caribbean, Mexican Riviera, Panama Canal, South America, including the Amazon River, Asia and the Middle East. Wow, what a tempting selection we've looked at in this guide. I think I'm off home to pack my glad racks, get myself on board. The question is, where do you want to go and what do you want from your cruise? Don't forget, if you want more information on cruising, our first time guide to cruising is available to you, absolutely free of charge. If you'd like a copy or have a question we haven't covered in this particular programme, then give us a call here at the Holiday and Cruise Channel on 0871 423 You can also get in touch and request a copy through our website at www.holidayandcruisechannel.co.uk. Well, Sadly, that's all we've got time for on this particular guide to cruising. Do look out for our other handy guide programmes, including the first time to cruising, family cruising and river cruising. But until then, goodbye.